Hello, family and friends. This is Kim with Shopping on Shoestrings. And I'm here with... Turn this fan off. There, that will make such a heavy noise. Do you want to get up in the window? Spartacus? Come on. Come on. You can do it. Go. Go get in the window. Go on. Oh, he's going to help me. All right. Now, stay down so you don't knock the camera over. <laughs> I have more help than I need. There it goes. All right. This is a haul that's a mix between mostly Amazon. Okay, there he goes. And Walmart. And I've been meaning to get this stuff hauled so I can get everything situated and put away and my problem is going to be um, figuring out what's what's uh, what's here and I still got a whole bunch left and some hasn't come in yet but we're going to get rolling on this and I'm going to see what I can uh, start with the liniment okay I got me three bottles I see they changed their design on these bottles go sit down that's enough three of them and the cat squish squish party I like their white cream liniment really well for a topical pain reliever uh, I've used this one for years and I continue to use this and uh, I got this from um, Walmart and um, it was I got free shipping tax was 303 it was 4329 for the three bottles the total with tax was 40 cents 32 46 dollars and 32 cents for three and these are 11 fluid ounce bottles so the packaging changed but the amount stayed the same so that'll last me for a few months, which is a good thing. So I got my liniment in. Anyway, this was part of my stimulus. In fact, it was the first thing I ordered. <laughs> Not everything was on the stimulus, but that was. Uh, let's see. So we got that one done. Let's see what else we have. I did not have um, sorry I got things written down all over the place here I got this I say I forgot to bring a couple items in I'll get them on the next video I got this little garden tool and it's a uh, micro grow duster and it was uh, five it was all together oh I don't know uh, this was $7.99 for this and then there's another piece that I forgot to bring in that went with the whole order I hope you're done at any rate you um, attach this together and you put your um, um, degenerative earth is recommended and you put it in there and then it this comes out which I've got to go dust my mixed green garden section and then you just give it a slight squeeze and it's supposed to come out in a uh, mist and spread well on your to get rid of um, bugs if you have some little bugs around so that was seven 94 for that uh, some of these are mixed so yeah I forgot a whole bunch of stuff oh well um, okay
Well, where did I write all this mess at? I was trying to keep it all in one thing, but I guess I didn't do a very good job. Hmm. Well, this kind of sucks. I might have lost a piece of paper that has probably all those things on there. This is not good because I can't give you the prices if I don't um, if I don't know them. It's just making me mad because I thought I had them all written down in here. Evidently, I read them on other things. I'm sorry about that. I can show you what I got. I can give you an approximate. Um, one of the things I got, well, actually two, <laughs> and this is heavy. This is 7.9 pounds of chicken bouillon by Gore? Nor? I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. K-N-O-R-R. -R. I use a lot of chicken bouillon. And I'm going to take some of this and freeze it in a Ziploc baggie so it doesn't end up going rancid before I use um, the whole thing. But I've got another one here in a box because this came in the box when I opened it. It was on its side and this plastic seal was not ripped off. It was just off. This was off and if you can see there, can you see that? It must have got bunged. At any rate, um, I lost about a pound and a half of the product because this must have been full all the way to the top. It smells really good. And I asked my son, he looked at it when I opened it up and he said it should be fine for what's in here. And we threw, I threw the rest of it, dumped the rest of it in the garbage can. But they, um, I believe they refunded me and sent me a, another container. And this was, I want to say, if I had my computer up, but I closed it because I'm actually taping on top of this. I want to say it was $13.95 approximately. Okay, that's an approximate move. A thirteen ninety five, and that's what ugh, I have another one of those in here but I'm not going to waste your time with opening it uh, so I'm going to put this one in the freezer freeze part of that and I shouldn't have to buy chicken bouillon for a very 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 long time I have tried this brand before it is very very good and since so chicken bouillon is my main go-to one that I grab for a lot of things. Um, that's why I got that one. Kind of some long-term shelf stuff that should be good. Another thing I got is, and this is my writing because I couldn't see the directions. So he told me how to mix it. It's three tablespoons no, five tablespoons of the powder to three tablespoons of water. But this is their sour cream powder for sour cream. So I thought I would try this. And this is one pound, I think. One pound. I believe it says one pound of sour cream powder by Hoyser Hill Farm. And... Um, you know, you can't really stock up on sour cream for a long amount of time. I don't know about freezing sour cream and how well it would work. So I thought, well, in a pinch, we'd still have sour cream for baking, baking cakes, donuts, um, baked potatoes, stroganoff, whatever. So I, I picked up some of the sour cream, and I want to say that I'm thinking this was 10 or 11.95 approximate 
Okay. Now I'm going to switch out because I got a food item underneath you holding me up here. They're both the same size. Okay. Now I got this, and this is by Mother Earth Products Dried Vegetable Soup Mix, and it's 10 ounce. And I've used this before, and I love, love, love this stuff. Um, I always like to have this on hand. In fact, I'm going to get a second container here real soon of this um, because I, I would prefer to have double this amount on hand um, because it's wonderful to throw in your rice. It's wonderful to throw in when you're making Roman noodles to add a little bit more oomph to them. It's wonderful for stews and soups. I mean, it's I'm always throwing it in all kinds of stuff. It has like some flavored herbs and seasonings down in there. I don't know if you can kind of see, but it's really, really good. So I've used this. I've always used it, and I will continually use it. And I do believe this was $10.95 for this container. Okay, now watch. I'll find all this information, and I'll be quite upset that I couldn't find it when I wanted it to give you guys exact prices. Then I got this Augustin Farms uh, 2 pounds 4 ounce butter powder and I love it. I tried it um, it's like because I, I got my bread maker that my son had gotten me for Christmas and uh, my youngest one and it's like then I ran out of butter. It's like, what's the point of having first break bread and no butter? <coughs> so it's like, then I can have this on hand. It's not exactly like real butter, but it is good enough. Uh, I really like it when I'm using it in recipes that call for butter. I can use this. I can't tell the difference. And save my real, real butter. I've used it. I mixed it up and used it on bread. It's good enough. It'll work. And especially works well when you put the honey in it and make a honey butter. That worked really well. I was really pleased with that. So, um, mostly, definitely good enough for any cooking, baking, anything that calls for butter, uh, even on your baked potatoes. It was fine. Couldn't really tell much difference. Could tell a little bit of difference, though, when I put it on bread. But not enough that would deter me from not using it for that if I had to. But like I say, I prefer to use it for um, other things. And then save my real butter for my bread. Stuff like that. So I would like to get probably a couple more cans. Now it was 16, I remember that, 95 when I got this one, Amazon. Uh, the sour cream was Amazon, the vegetable soup mix was Amazon. Um, this was Amazon, the only thing that was Walmart so far was the liniment. And the soup, the big chicken bouillon, that was Amazon. I think the only thing that came from Walmart was that one. That the liniment. But yeah, I'd, I want to get a couple more. They have gone up to around $25, $24.99, I think. Still well worth it, so I want to get a couple more cans. Put up on my shelves. You know, things get are getting harder out there. So at least I know I'll have butter of some sort. You know, I'll have sour cream of some sort. I'll have the mixed vegetables. I have tons of bouillon, so I can make tons of soups and I have a lot of different noodles that are Asian noodles. I can put the chicken boy on, though, in the noodles, though, in some of that mixed vegetable. Voila, I've got soup, you know. So, not bad. And the last thing I have to show you guys is I got a big can of this U-Ban coffee. And this one was from Amazon. And this one, I really can't remember how much this was. 37.2 ounce. I do like you bad coffee. It's good coffee. Um, I was getting a little tired of the store brands that just didn't have 
the oomph that I wanted in my coffee. So, and I had tried this before and liked it. So I got another big can. I want to say eight or nine dollars, seven, seven something to eight something, maybe range. Approximately. Still quote me on any of these prices. You can go on, look at the ounces in the product and find out. But I'm in the ballpark. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Didn't realize that was there's a whole lot of stuff I didn't bring in that I wanted to haul. <clears throat> but that's all I have right now that I brought in. I thought I was getting all of it, and I didn't. So, there'll be another video at a later time, and I'm still waiting for some more stuff to come in. So, I'll wait until those other items get here. <coughs> Pardon me. So, yeah, I mean, these are some good items to stock up on. You can't, uh, you can't go wrong, you know, because like I say, it's getting too hard. It's getting too hard to uh, try and find things, and especially when you're ride dependent, and you can't just go out and go to five different stores in one day like I used to. You know, now I have to look for things that, okay, this way I know I've got butter, I've got sour cream stuff like that so at any rate please like share and subscribe and I hope you guys are keeping your stockpiles up because you do start dwindling through it you know and then it's harder to get it back in so even though I thought I had a pretty good stockpile yeah I still see where it's like it's a kind of a struggle now to to do that especially with me not being able to get out. So I have Walmart deliver my groceries now between Walmart and Amazon. So at any rate, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you guys are EBT or SNAP, which is food, the old food stamps, every single one of these food products, because I am um, eligible for that, so I receive that benefit. Um, every single one of these are for SNAP eligible on, on all these items. So what I've been doing is every month I pick out a couple of items, large items like this and say the butter, you know, and it's like, okay, that's what I'm getting this month for my stockpile, you know, and I'm, I'm putting it up because yes, I have been into the butter. I have used it and tried it. And I can open it up so you can kind of see it. I just never got to haul it before I started getting into it. Um, so it's very powdery. And um, I don't know. It's not bad, really. It's, it's not bad at all. So it will do. It will do the job. And especially for cooking with it and baking. So I just thought I'd let you know because if you get those... You can, if you get SNAP, you can get all these for SNAP eligible items on the food products. So that kind of helps out a little bit too if you're low income. To be able to get some of these bigger things and you're good to go. You know you're going to have some of the stuff you need. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.